This is the Guide Gals podcast, a modern wedding focused podcast brought to you by the experts at Here Comes the Guide. I'm Caroline, the social media manager who is obsessed with dogs as ring bearers and will inevitably cry over your wedding video. We've been brides, planners, bridesmaids, and I've worked with standout brands throughout the industry. Think of us as an extension of your wedding party and hang out with us as we share the ins, outs, ups, and downs of the road to I do. Hey everyone, it's me, Caroline, like you just heard. Um, in case you didn't hear the episode last week, right now we are doing a little solo episode adventure. Chelsea had an episode last week, which is incredible, talking all about about including pets at your wedding, which was such a great episode. So if you didn't listen to it already, definitely go check that out. But this week, you've got me. Now, a little background as to why we're doing these solo episodes right now. Every once in a while in our recording kind of schedule, we need to have some breaks or just some adjustments. So of course, it is summer and we're doing some traveling. We have some special things going on, including the fact that my laptop just died one day. And by died, I mean the display just stopped working. So it was really hard for me to do some work. So it just made a little bit more sense for us to make a quick adjustment and do some solo episodes, which is actually so great because we get to tackle topics that maybe don't make sense for a full length episode. And so we get to just kind of chat one on one in these solo episodes about special topics. So yes, if you didn't listen to last week, definitely go check that out. Also, I want to say at the top, if my audio sounds a little funky, I'm really sorry. I am working with a new setup as I'm working with an emergency laptop. But if you do hear any noise outside of just my voice and the microphone, I'm really sorry. So just wanted to say that at the top. All right, let's go ahead and jump into my topic for this week, which is all about wedding content creators. This is probably an interesting topic, maybe something that you haven't heard about, but if you find yourself anywhere on the internet, on TikTok, on Instagram, whatever it may be, you've probably seen or heard about wedding content creators. It is definitely a new vendor type, but it caters towards very real-time video content, um, short-form videos, vertical videos. It is not as professionally captured with like expensive equipment. A lot of times people will use just an iPhone or just something that they have, whatever phone they have. And we're really seeing a lot of this. Um, there is obviously a huge impact of social media on um, every really aspect of our lives these days. Um, even if you don't find yourself on social media, you probably have conversations with people about social media or just see different content that is created for it. There are lots of different media types when it comes to weddings. Of course, you think of photography, maybe videography, but content creators capture something a little bit different. Um, and really, this was born out of the rise of specifically short form content. But also, I think there is more of an emphasis on this authentic, real time um, not filtered, like very, very real type of content. And a lot of times I feel like brides and grooms would walk away from the wedding day and be so excited to see what was to come. But for a lot of these photographers and videographers, you have to wait a couple weeks, maybe even over a month to get some of this content back from your wedding day. So it's nice to appoint some people to capture this very real, very authentic content. Um, and that could also be just through, you know, having digital cameras around, having even disposable cameras around. I've seen a lot of different ways that people have decided to capture this content. And so wedding content creators are just kind of born out of that want. Um, and they fine tune that want a little bit more. So wedding content creators, really their role in everything is to capture the fleeting moments on the wedding day. And then they kind of create some content for social media platforms, like Instagram stories, TikToks, Reels, all that good stuff. And there's a lot of different ways that these wedding content creators can do things. So traditional photographers and videographers focus on a little bit more curated, trendier content or long form edits for those videographers. And photographers are going to, of course, capture those things and produce them in a more professional way. So these wedding content creators can come in all different forms, but basically their whole role in the day is to capture those authentic moments and they can do both short form video or photography focused. So maybe you want somebody to grab a bunch of pictures and post them on your Instagram stories throughout the day to really take people along the journey of your wedding day with you, especially if people couldn't be there um, or they could do some more videography focused things so that you can turn that into short form videos afterwards for you to share on any social media platform. 
this type of vendor is really going to work for some people and not work for other people and it's totally fine if you don't include this on your day it is definitely very up and coming um, and this is going to kind of cover a couple of, diff of different ones so maybe you want a wedding content creator for the reason of sharing your wedding day in real time with friends and family who can't be there especially this is relevant for destination weddings or possibly for elderly family members who couldn't make it to your nuptials. So this is a great way to do that. And I think even COVID, dare I say it, kind of led into this as well because we could see a lot of people really trying to capture that content um, to share with people who couldn't be there. Think of live streaming your wedding. That obviously has been around for a long time, but I think it really just evolved during that time frame where a lot of people couldn't make it to the weddings of their nearest and dearest. Another reason you might want to use a wedding content creator is to capture fun, candid moments um, that photographers and videographers might miss. Honestly, I think this is a really good point because a lot of times I think photographers and videographers can capture just a little bit of the fun of their reception, but there is something to me about the short form video content that you can capture at a reception that just does it a little bit better than a photographer or a videographer. There are not a lot of times where I stop scrolling because I see a photographer's array of reception pictures because I'm just like oh that's you know a friend group and they're dancing and a videographer isn't going to spend that much time on the reception stuff because there's so much other content th to go into their video seeing some short form content for me sometimes I do stop scrolling when I see the conga line the crazy dances you know what I do stop for Every time I see a cheerleader get married and all of her like teammates, they will sometimes do crazy stunts in their wedding dresses. Or recently I was watching these girls do their baton routine, except for the maid of honor, which was really funny because she was recording it and she was like when everybody else went to the same college and did um, baton twirling, whatever, blah, blah, blah. It, I stop for those things because the short form video content of that, um, because I hear a little bit more of the crowd's response, I, I see a more real time, more authentic thing. And so this can be a really fun way to capture those candid moments. Also, content creation for platforms like TikTok or Instagram can be a really fun way to relive the wedding day and potentially go viral. You know what? Content, baby, content. Um, that That is a huge deal this, these days. And I of course, me, the social media manager for Here Comes the Guide, and I do a lot of social media content on my own or for the guide gals. I think about this a lot. What ways can we take this content and reframe it and post it and add to the trends? It can be overwhelming for some people, so I can understand maybe why you wouldn't want to go this direction. But for some people, this is a great way to milk this event for what it's worth get every single opportunity out of it as possible and let's be honest you're spending a lot of money and time on this why wouldn't you want to capture every single moment and show it to everybody maybe you're very private and maybe you just want to keep that content for yourself but hey you might be in the category of people who want to show that off and give yourself the potential to go viral all right, and one last reason why you might want a wedding content creator is because they can help couples feel very comfortable and relaxed in front of a camera. Honestly, this is a great way to help people feel a little bit less camera shy. You're used to seeing iPhones taking pictures and videos. There is something that can be a little bit more off-putting about seeing big camera or videography equipment. It can make you feel a little bit stressed. So you can add some levity to the day by having your bridesmaids or groomsmen plan out some TikToks that you're going to do. It can really let you just let loose a little bit before everything starts happening. So I've seen a lot of different ways where this works out for couples who want a wedding content creator. I've seen a lot of people start working their way into this industry. We follow a couple of them on Instagram, on TikTok, and I love seeing the work that they're doing. And it is so cool um, to have this more tangible, less buttoned up view into some people's weddings that just makes it feel more fun it feels like it's really capturing the heart of what a wedding should be about which is about your love about your commitment about this day of celebrating with your loved ones instead of it feeling like this really tied up with a bow videographer um which is fine I love videographers too but I think for my own personality I would rather have a wedding content creator than a videographer because I would rather have those authentic cute little moments instead of a video that 
you know, may not fully capture uh, the day. Now, I am saying this from somebody who did hire a wedding videographer team and I don't show anyone the video. If you are one of my nearest and dearest, I might show you the video, but otherwise we we really don't. And And that makes me sad because the way that I viewed my day and the way that I see it through other people's photos, through my photographer's photos, was just so different from what was produced in our like wedding video. So that that is just my experience in in my case I think I would have rather had a wedding content creator than a wedding videographer we th- that is also totally truly on me because we had to have a last minute switch we had hired somebody else because of COVID y'all know about what's happening with my wedding and if you don't um listen to our other episodes because I talk about it at length and some of them but essentially we weren't able to have our our wedding the way we planned it I always got married during the pandemic so things had to change and that's really understandable and I hold no hard feelings towards that. But I just wanted to share my experience with you just in case that is helpful if you're trying to decide what to do. Now, I briefly want to discuss um, the cost of this and this is really still a developing vendor type and so this is going to vary a lot depending on location, experiences, um, the services they offer. And if you are a person who really needs this type of content because your job um, or because whatever reason, maybe you are already an influencer or content creator and you're working with brands and you need somebody to capture this content for you, obviously this is not a place that you want to skimp on and you need to invest in somebody who has that experience and can do everything that you need them to. But you can also explore some alternative options if you're still interested in this type of vendor, but just aren't willing to shell out that much for it. So you can designate someone from your family, uh, the friend who always takes the best pictures of you um, to kind of do this job. Now, I would include the caveat, don't have this person be in your wedding party and also doing this job. There are tons of people who would be so honored to just have this job without being part of your bridal party. So make sure you designate either that tech savvy friend, family member, whomever, and give them the appropriate tools to do this. Don't make them use their phone. Give them your phone. Give them something where they can um, capture all these moments, but don't have to worry about having it on their phone. Honestly, it's nicest if you can turn your phone on airplane mode so you don't have to worry about any notifications of anything. Give them your phone and let them capture the photos and videos because then you walk away at the end of the night of course with your phone but then you can scroll through all of those memories and see all the videos and photos that they took and that's really the gist of wedding content creators I wanted to talk about it because I'm so interested to see how this develops I think we're going to see a lot more wedding content creators I think we're going to see a lot more ways that this is utilized I don't think this is going to um, overtake photography or videography in any way. I really do think it's in addition. So this could be a really good fit for you. Definitely consider if a wedding content creator, a hiring one is a good fit for you or just designating someone to be that. I think, I think that is a great thing to do. Even if you aren't, even if you aren't hiring someone professionally, designating someone to be the content creator or capturer of that day is great and they don't have to edit all that content for you they can just capture it and then you can do with it what you will but if you do really want to fully hand it off to somebody and have them help create that content too you may have to shell out some extra dollars for that Okay, that's all I have to say about that. But if you do have more questions about what a wedding content creator is, does, any additional questions, please reach out and let us know. Um, Or if you are a wedding content creator and want to chat with us on one of our episodes, definitely reach out. We would love to talk more about this and kind of see into what your experience has been like. There are a couple different ways you can reach out to us um, on our website. We have a email form. Um, You can also get updated about all of the other things that are going on in the realm of the guide gals. You can also see our Instagram and our TikTok. Our Instagram is at the guide gals podcast and our TikTok is at the guide gals pod. We share some behind the scenes details there. Honestly, though, things have been a little bit quiet lately. I need to get back on my content creator game. But let me tell you, life at Here Comes the Guide and the Guide Gals has been so busy in the best way. So follow us for all of the exciting updates to come and to see maybe a little bit more of why we've been so busy. 
If you want to see any of our episodes and see our faces, you can go to the Here Comes the Guide YouTube channel and see all of our episodes there. Granted, our solo episodes, we typically don't do videos, but any of our other normal episodes, we do video content. And it's just fun to be able to see our faces and chat with us, especially whenever we have guests on the episodes. It's fun to see us there. Always slide into our DMs. Always email us with anything and everything especially if you have any questions, not just about this episode, but any of the other ones. Every once in a while, we will do episodes where we go through your questions and really get into the nitty gritty details. And I think that's everything for me today. I hope you enjoyed the episode and we will see you next week for another amazing episode, which actually is one of the episodes I just explained where we take your questions and dive into them. So get ready for a really great one next week. And until then, cheers. Cheers.